。好，接下来看到说，在台湾非常多的民众呢，不管是在等车啦，还是在等人的时候，常常会有事没事拿起了手机来玩，玩今年最红的手机游戏叫做 Candy Crush。光是在台湾玩家就超过了三百万人，全球更冲到了一点三亿人人都玩过了 Candy Crush。而台湾有非常多的创业家寄投了这块游戏开发的领域。来看一下这个 Candy Crush 创办人 Tommy p a u 分享他们成功的秘诀。好，我们今天是非常荣幸，请到了这个 Candy Crush 这个设计游戏的灵魂的 Tommy。相信非常多人呢，不管是这个男女老少，有结婚的还是没有结婚的，这个老的还是年轻的，都会玩过了 Candy Crush、哦。很多人就是在这个见面的时候呢，这个第一句会说：“哎，现在 Candy Crush 你到底是跨到了第几关呢、哦？”因此，我们今天非常荣幸，请到的是在 Candy Crush 他设计游戏的灵魂人物，这个 Tommy Paul 来到节目现场。Hi Tommy。Hi。At the beginning, let's talk about how you involved with the game development. So how I started out in in game development? Well, that、uh, it started out very early in in、uh, in the mid 80s when I was very young and started with programming on a on a hobby level, and then I studied、uh, at computer science and and I I started a company, a video games company in Sweden, and then that became a hobby. So I I started、uh, three other companies, and one of those companies was acquired by King、uh, one and a half year ago. So you love to play games when you、uh, was a little little child? Yeah, yeah. I started out、uh, when I was、uh, about seven. I found Space Invaders, which was a, a arcade game, and I got really hooked on on playing that. Was kind of found my first love, and、uh, from that I just continued to play every chance I got. My parents were very worried about me,、uh, and then I realized that、uh, I could actually do that myself if I picked up programming. Uh, so I did that, and that's how it started. So did the team of the Kinta Company did that the、uh, Candy Crush console famous? <laughs> and well,、um, so Candy Crush was developed in, in a couple of different iterations. We started making a smaller one-level game for our site, King.com,、uh, where we already have a fairly large audience, currently about 12 million active players. So we tested the game there and saw that it. It resonated very well with that target audience that we have there, so we already have a, had a hint that that it would work well when we developed it for Facebook and then for mobile, but we couldn't anticipate how big just a social phenomenon it would be. Now we have three million daily active users,、uh, daily active players here in in Taiwan. So, what is the secret to Candy Crush? Well, it's it's、uh, there is several different components of it. I think that the candy theme is is one very important thing. That it's very、uh, you know, everybody can relate to it. It's、uh, very nice colors and shapes.、Uh, other important ingredients is、uh, the fact that it's very accessible. You can download it to any device and continue to to play. If you're playing on the bus, you can continue at home on your tablet.、Uh, And then, of course, the social aspect is very important. We see a lot of families playing the game together, and and friends、uh, interacting around the game, talking about how difficult one level is, or or something like that.、Uh, what inspiration you create this game? Okay, so well, we had already made、uh, other match three games, um, but uh, we realized that we wanted to do a candy themed game,、yeah. and then we had a new take on it where we could. Match the two power-up candies together. That was something new. That is the first time it's been done in a match three game, and those two ingredients together made for a very good base for、okay. for、so、social. Everybody very curious about whatever you reach in Crane Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, I I play it still very actively. I play it on the plane. I'm I'm currently at level 148. Forty-eight. One hundred and forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. So.、Um, I'm not all the way. There is currently over 400 levels, and、yes. I'm not all the way to the end. What kind of the future do you see in the mobile games? I think that this,、uh, the smartphone games, is a very strongly growing market. A lot of、uh, people are, are discovering how fun games can be for the first time.、Uh, players who haven't played anything before, uh, typically uh, uh, older、um, females, for instance. So I think that、uh, the, the future looks very bright, and I think we'll we'll see a lot more of these cross-platform games,、mm -hmm. games that you can take from one device and continue in another. App games or mobile games is very has a very short lifespan. 
And um, what is the, the concern? Do you have the same concern? Yeah, and uh, I mean, there is so many games out there for, for smartphones. Uh, so players like to download new things and try them out. Uh, but with a with casual social game, one great thing for, for us is that the lifespan is actually a lot longer than, than many of the other categories. Uh, we see, for instance, in our game Bubble Witch Saga that was released more than two years ago, it's still one of the top titles on, on Facebook. Um, when people have their friends and family in a game, they tend to go back and, and uh, so, so that is a very positive thing. But yet we, we continue to develop a lot of other games. We have a very big fan base, currently over 100 million daily active users between our games. And uh, we feel that those fans want more, more games. And we have so many uh, embryos of games on, on King.com that we can take to, to this cross platform. Is there any uh, secrecy to, to prolong a certain kind of a, of a game? We continue to develop uh, the games and, and add new levels and feature to them. So the teams are very active on, on uh, Candy Crush, yeah. uh, listening to, to the community. We have a lot of people on the Facebook app page that, that uh, say what they want out of the game and, and suggest uh, what we should continue. So we have a close dialogue with our players. And, the last question, do you have any advice to the young people they want to involve in mobile development? Yeah, I can, I can really recommend everybody, not only if you're uh, young, but, but uh, learn um, basics of programming. It's very uh, fun, it's a lot of fun, and, and it's, it gives you an understanding why you need math and, and physics and things like that. It becomes a lot more uh, fun and interesting to learn these other subjects. You, all of a sudden you have a practical use of them. So that's how I you know, became good at those subjects in school. At the beginning I didn't like it very much, but when I realized what I could use it for, it was just so much more fun all of a sudden. So there's some really good uh, tools to get started today. Yeah. So do you think that the passion is very important? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's uh, always in life it's important to, to follow your passions and your dreams. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much.